Hey guys, it's your favorite pirate Pac, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're getting our first look at Star Atlas Escape Velocity. I got to see a tutorial from the team during the Atlas Brew, and was lucky enough to capture it for you prior to its official release later today. So this video is going over that and basic expectations for Escape Velocity. But before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Archetype and 7R7 for showing love and support to the channel. Hopefully, you've noticed that my video quality is a little bit better. This is my first video with my new graphics card. Lighting equipment is next, and the love and support from the community has been amazing in helping me evolve my content. And with that, let's watch the video that was posted in the Atlas Brew today. Hi everyone, Dominic, Community Manager at Star Atlas here, and I'm extremely excited to introduce Star Atlas Golden Era Escape Velocity. Escape Velocity is a test for a revolutionary, real-time, on-chain movement mechanics that would only be possible on the Solana blockchain. First, we need to head to sage.staratlas.com. This is where we're going to be able to test. Once you're here, you'll need to connect your wallet and hit the play button. Now that we're in the game, we'll need to spawn a ship to start testing. When spawning a ship, you'll need to lock 1000 Atlas. You'll get this back, so no worries, it's just to help us combat bots. Now that our ship has spawned, let's get to testing. Right click on your ship and click on an available coordinate tile in the green zone. This will bring up a transaction that you'll need to approve. This is real time stuff and has never been done before, so we're incredibly excited to see you all moving around. Once you reach the targeted coordinate tile, right click your ship again and select the scan option to scan the area for loot. There's a vast list of possible loot like resources, core collectible covers, land, ships, and the incredibly rare chance to find a Thimble BYOS tank ship. It's also important to note that loot won't be instantly transferred to your inventory. You'll need to wait, but we assure you, you will receive your loot. On the right of your screen, you'll see an overview and scanning tab. The overview tab allows you to keep track of your ships by showing their coordinates and current status. The scanning tab will show you what rewards you and your fellow testers are receiving. Whenever you're done, you can select the despawn ship option to receive the 1000 Atlas that you locked and remove your ship from testing. When you despawn your ship, we ask for some feedback. So make sure to let us know what you thought. Good luck and have fun in Star Atlas Golden Era Escape Velocity. When they launch the game, we can start by heading over to sage.staratlas.com and connecting our wallets. I've made a separate hot wallet through the Phantom Browser extension and I suggest that you do the same. This will allow you to get started with your first steps of the journey into Gallia. Once you're connected, you'll need to manually spawn your ships by locking a thousand atlas per ship. This atlas will be locked until you manually despawn your ships and you will get it back. But now that you've got your ships, it's time to explore the galaxy. Right click on your ship to see which spaces you can move to. They'll highlight in green. And based on the different views we got, it looks like we can move anywhere from five to 10 spaces per movement. Each time you move your ship, it will be a transaction on the blockchain requiring approval. Luckily, there should be an option to allow auto transactions to make this process more seamless, or at least that's what the team had talked about over the weekend. I hope they got to implement that feature. And what's the point of moving your ships around the galaxy? Loot, of course. I mean, really, it's so that they can test the ability to track our movements. But for this pirate, it's the loot. I need an escape velocity poster. So once you reach your destination, right click on your ship and select the scan option to scan the area for loot. There are different tiers of loot, ranging from copper to platinum and diamond. Keep in mind that not every location on the map will have loot and there's a fixed number of loot items on the map at any given minute. So it's important to move around and explore different areas of the galaxy to increase your chances of finding valuable loot. The overview tab will help you keep track of your ships by showing their coordinates and current status. Meanwhile, the scanning tab will show not only what you found, but what other players have found as well. This adds an element of competition to the game as you can try to outdo other players in finding valuable loot. When you're finished playing, you can go ahead and select the despawn ship option to receive the atlas that you had locked up. Remember, there's a feedback tab where you can share your insights into the gaming experience and any issues that you found. This feedback is valuable to the developers 
as they use it to improve the game and make it more enjoyable for players like us. Sum this up, while they titled this project Escape Velocity, this is simply the beginning of the Star Atlas Golden Age. We can expect updates and additions to the game throughout the year, some of which will involve resource extraction, mining, and crafting. Now if you found this video helpful and want to help support the channel, send donations to pockthepirate.soul. Now we're all just counting down for the launch. Stay safe out there guys, this is our first time venturing into the galactic seas, and you know I'll catch you out there. Pock out.